Hey everybody, um, sorry I didn't do a live stream this weekend, I was uh, just tired, my mom's in the hospital and I've been doing a lot of back and forth and uh, I'll make it up to y'all somehow, but I wanted to show y'all, I, um, I figured out how to get the N64 ROMs off of the Master Quest GameCube disc. I mean, if you've seen the Master Quest GameCube discs, um, they came like, I guess they came free with like Twilight Princess or something. And it had Ocarina of Time, and then it also had another version called Ocarina of Time Master Quest. And there were some other ways to get that disc, I don't know. But I figured out, it's just an N60, two N64 ROMs and an emulator. And I figured out how to get those off the disc. And I was going to show y'all some cool stuff here. And, uh, okay, I've got some things here that you'll need. Um, there's one called GC Tool, uh, one called TGC to G G GCM, you'll need, you'll need those. The Dolphin uh, GameCube emulator, um, I got Project 64 on there just to show you that it works. Uh, this is the uh, Ocarina of Time and Master Quest ISO, you'll have to get that yourself, I'm not going to supply that. Um, the reason I have Mario Kart 64 here, I wanted to show y'all something else to do, uh, that's cool. Um, so basically what you have to do is uh, you open up a uh, dolphin here and you get it, you point it toward your Ocarina of Time right here. Okay, now you go to properties and you go over to file system and this is all the files that would be on the GameCube disc. You can't read it usually in a, in a DVD, a DVD ROM because it's a, they got their own file system. And this file right here, zlj underscore f dot tgc this is the file that's got the game the n64 roms in it it's it's kind of a game uh, uh it's kind of a disc image itself so what you want to do is right click on it and say extract file i'm going to just put that in the tgc to gcm folder just like that and close let me get still thinking about it Yeah, it's not finished yet. Okay, it finished. Okay, now just hit, hit close. Um, minimize that for now. Now, TGC to T, it's in the TGC to GCM folder right here. Now, what we need to do, we need to make that a. Uh, we need to change that to a different format. So we need the command prompt because TGC to T uh, DCM is a uh, it is a uh, just a command line tool. Okay. So here we are. CD GC CD desktop. It's on my desktop. Make it a desktop. CD GC. CD TGC to GCM. All right. Now all you got to do is uh, TGC to T or GCM ZLJ underscore F dot TGC. I'm just going to call it Z dot GCM. And there, that's it. Now, no oh, way it's not done yet. Okay, it's a it's kind of a, it's five hundred megabyte file, so it might take it a second. Okay, now it's done. Okay, now this right here, all you're gonna have to do is rename it to dot ISO. Yes. And what I'm going to do is copy the z.iso back to the GC, the GC folder here. Now, if you go back into Dolphin and say refresh, 
there it is and you can go like you did before properties file system and right there you've got your ZLE underscore F dot N64 and ZLE F dot N64 you already this one right here is the master quest ROM so you go right click on it say extract file and I'm going to put it in the GC folder you can do the same thing for this one extract file put it in the GC folder or any folders will do okay close uh, I'm just gonna minimize that now here's project 64 it's an n64 emulator if you go to open ROM uh, this is wrong Go in here to this one and hit open. And there you go. That's Master Quest. Hope I don't get flagged for this music. Master Quest. Okay. Uh, same for uh, this one, but it's 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 just all green up time. I'm not going to show you both of them. Okay, so you might wonder, why do I have Mario Kart 64 here? This is really cool. This is what I'm about to show you. Okay, we've got two copies of Z.ISO. One that's in this folder, Z.ISO. And one that's in this folder. So, if I go to Dolphin, which is showing me Z.ISO in the GC folder. Uh, file system. We don't need Dolphin for this. We need GC tool. GC tool. Okay. File. Open. And we are going to open the GC folder. It's on another monitor. I'll pull it over here in a sec. All files and open z.iso it's showing you all the files that's in z.iso right now the file name we want is Eura ZLE underscore F dot n64 so if I go in here and rename Mario Kart 64 Hold on, I have to rename this one real quick. It's going to stick a 1 on it. Actually, what would be really easy is for me to copy and paste. And I'm going to take the 1 off. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say replace file and then I'm going to pick the Mario Kart 64 I just renamed a Euro ZLE underscore F dot N64 now it's going to ask me if I want to change the file size no I do not so what did that just do for me okay open up dolphin watch this oh wait it's on a different monitor I don't think it took it didn't take but I will show you what I was able to do earlier this time it didn't take I don't know why let's kill let's kill that um, what I was able to do earlier was put Mario Kart in the file I'll show you and it, and it played on the I got it to play on a real uh, real GameCube yeah 
This is it right here. Basically doing what I just told you to do. I don't know why it didn't work this time. That's running. I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. That's running on Nintendo's own emulator on top of an N64 emulator. So I've taken that ISO, X.ISO, which Z.ISO should be the same, but I don't know why it's not working. And I, you can put that on a real GameCube. And you can play Mario Kart on a real GameCube. The crazy thing is, the sound doesn't work right. It sounds like it's farting. But anyway, forget that. Forget putting your N64 game or other ROMs back on the GameCube uh, disc. Now you've got uh, this one right here. This you have got the Zelda Master Quest and an N64 file. And what I haven't done yet, I don't have an N64 flash card, but I'm pretty sure you take that. Your uh, that uh, what you, what what Master Quest was to begin with was uh, you'll remember uh, in the 90s they were going to release the 64 disc drive for the N64. And the Master Quest was going to be called Euro Zelda or whatever. And it was going to be a disc add-on for the Ocarina of Time. When you put that disc in the in the 64 disc drive, it was going to change the levels around. Well, and uh, I'm going to make them a little difficult. Well, this is the... You, this, this file right here, this file right here is just the... What was going to be on that disc applied to Ocarina of Time. That's why they call it Euro ZLE. It's Euro Zelda. So that's what Master Quest is. So even though we don't have the 64 DD in America, you can have the uh, Euro Zelda and play it on a flash cart on your N64, um, which I think it's it's cool. You know, it's, it's just a cool little thing uh, to uh, to do, I guess. Anyway, I was just me messing around last night, uh, fiddling with this kind of stuff. I thought it was interesting. Um, I don't know why that putting putting another ROM back on the cart, that back on the image didn't work this time, but it did work. I sat in there for a few minutes playing Mario Kart uh, 64 on my GameCube because I, I do have a means of booting ISOs onto my GameCube. Um, so, uh, uh, by the way, I'm not condoning piracy or anything. This is just a how-to, uh, like, buy stuff and own it outright, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.